I've got one that can see. Logic before authority. Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. And I want to give you a little update on the video I just put out yesterday, the IPEC GOAT decode having to do with September and September 23rd. I want to show you a couple of more things that came to me literally as I woke up this morning laying in bed. Before I'd even opened my eyes, I knew these things. And I want to show them to you because I've been praying for them to be for that for it to be shown to me okay and it was my prayer was answered so I want to show you a few things okay all right so you see this image here right blow it up so you can see the whole thing you got the hangman here and you got the symbol of this penis right and no one's ever decoded what this means but I now know what it means. And I also understand the hangman. The penis thing has to do with the shark thing. Okay. And of course the shark that I was referring to in this video is a submarine. Which is why I showed you the Illuminati playing card that was printed in 1995. That the game showed, as most of you understand, the game showed... Uh, the towers, it showed the Pentagon, it showed, it's shown basically everything that has been happening. And uh, yeah, the submarine, that's the shark, right? So what does this have to do with it? Well, let me explain the hangman first. See, the hangman is saying this is a game and there's only one move left. The way hangman is played is that you draw this hangman thing here with the rope you can start wherever you want to with this game but as the man as you lose or win depending on how you're playing the game you draw like the man's head the circle you draw his arms you draw his body each time you draw a piece of the hangman is a move in the game towards the winning or losing of the game now you'll notice that there's only one piece left, the leg, in order for this game to be won or lost. So this symbolism is saying this is a game and there's only one move left. The other move, which was the first time this went down, like in 2001, you know, these big moves, and that's what this video was about, is the big moves. There's only one move left. That's the hangman. And what about this? Well, let me show you one other thing before I show you that. You see it says Bush. Actually, it should say Bush looks up in horror. I'll correct that in a moment. Then Bush is watching as something comes down but what? So Bush looks up in horror, then Bush is watching as something comes down. But what? Okay. Well, if you come forward here and you watch the little scene, you'll see what I'm talking about. You see? Something came down. up Ooh, horror and then it comes down what's coming down that will cause this type of thing something's up this is the second event the first one happened in 2001 Bush looks up in horror then Bush is watching as something comes down so what is it coming down? Okay, can you see the penis shooting? See the penis in the background? 
right? Okay, well, here's your answer. We're going to do this together. Let's pull up this scene. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is symbolism for a gun that shoots. If you look at it actually closely, which I think I set up that footage so we could do that. Where did I put it at? Maybe I haven't inserted it yet, but I'm going to right here in just a second. But Let's go ahead and put this scene in, okay, which, yeah, okay, there we go, let's insert that scene, so now we have that scene in the video itself, which goes like this. of America. Insert the iPad Goat scene that shows that right here. Then we've got to take that and we've got to re reduce the speed down to 20%. Apply that, and then you've got then I've got to come over into that scene and I've got to come into the effects maker and choose a 2D DVD which I'll show you how that's done now I'll just move over here I have to back that up one frame add the little points right there a little point there so then I want to zoom this in and move it upwards. There you go. So now that should play out like this. started it too far down yeah okay here we go there you go so now now you understand 
the hangman and the penis symbolism this is my rifle this is my gun and as you can see it is shooting three objects there's three of them three as you can see looks like balls of fire something like that and if you look closely let me blow this up if you look closely you can see that this penis symbolism is clearly actually a missile you see it if you were going to draw a true penis which these guys could have e easily have done but this is like a cannon or a missile you see and here come three objects so what are the three locations New York City DC and where what do you think where is where is the third location because this is all intentional they wouldn't have put three if there was not going to be three so we're talking about three locations three places of destruction and every hint so far has been east coast every hint so far has been east coast it, I could easily say LA but there's been no hint of LA in this video it's all been east coast right so that's the last move of the hangman game is the shark shooting three projectiles onto the east coast right all right let me show you something else I need to show you guys as y'all guys can tell I'm doing a lot of work good work righteous work but I can't stay on top of this mountain and continue this work without your continued support and I'm in those periods of time that come where I run out of the bread that I've collected previously and I'm there and so I'm asking for your continued support there's numerous ways that you can do this to help me continue this work and not be dealing with sleeping in a car or in, a, in the woods which I actually don't even own a car but that's the example there's patreon where you can go and you can join for as little as a dollar a month you can see I have a hundred and two members which produces about four hundred and thirty two dollars a month which is I'm so very thankful for that however it does not cover me to be able to survive a month so there's patreon there's also um, PayPal and all these links are right below the video and that's my PayPal address and the link is below the video to this page then there's also cash app and the link to that is right below as well and that is my cash app address right there then there's also Venmo and that right there is my Venmo address and it is below in the links as well I also use and have Zelly connected to a Bank of America account and if you use Zelly or if most of most banks likely yours if you have a banking account offers Zelly and all you have to have is my email address which is logic before authority at gmail.com so I have all those and and then I have a couple of other options still below the video so I don't and I've explained why before so I'm not going to get into that again at this time but I can't go out and get a regular job I don't want to go out and get a regular job this is my job 
I am supposed to be on the mountaintop watching and working and providing y'all guys with the warnings of what I see and what is coming just as I'm doing in this video just as I've done here so I hope that you will continue to support my work and if you can please use one of those links and don't forget who did Christ appreciate the most that donated when he was collecting donations who did he appreciate the most the one who gave the least so don't feel like if you can only send a dollar that that is somehow not appreciated or not uh, worthy or something or not righteous because it is if you're in a spot where you can't do much of anything then just do a dollar but what happens is when that comes in and I see those I know it's there's two effects one is financially it it uh, helps me stay on my feet above water keeps me from being homeless completely because as many of you know I am currently homeless but so it helps me that way but it also helps me um, my the way I feel because I know when even when it's just a dollar and I see that come in and I see the notes that y'all guys write me and tell me and tell me how much you appreciate me doing what I'm doing it motivates me it pushes me it makes me feel good it makes me feel righteous it's not about the dollar amounts it's about the number of people who actually do something and I see that coming in and set up on my phone where it rings every time uh, a donation comes into my work and y'all guys know I'm doing logic before authority you also know I'm doing the supernatural show and I am working hard seven days a week from the moment I wake my eyes open even sometimes before my eyes are open I'm already working all the way until I can't take no more at some point in the evening and I have to rest and I'm gonna continue that and y'all guys are on my team and we're on God's team so let's keep doing our work I'll create the videos y'all guys give me tips and ideas in the comments and then I go back and recreate and then we send it out and tell the world we're a team and you're on my team I'm on your team and we're on God's team our father in heaven and his son Jesus Christ so that's enough said I guess I want to give you those couple of updates and then I wanted to ask y'all guys to continue supporting my work so I thank you very much in advance and uh, the links are below I love you guys our father in heaven loves you as well and we'll see you again real soon here on logic before authority